What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review courtesy of tf-direct.com who provided this excellent, excellent smoke screen uh, for me to be able to do this video with. This specific smoke screen is actually not an official Takara Tomy. It is a knockoff or slash replica, whatever you want to call it, version of the smoke screen uh, masterpiece, all right? And the reason I have him today, uh, even though I do have the original, uh, what I want to do is install uh, these hands. These are fan style hands. This is the PH01. As you can see, it's got the blue color that goes with smoke screen. It's got some additional screws, which is okay in my book because these little tiny screws either get lost or stripped. And look at that. A little screwdriver, which is uh, the exact size for these screws. So I don't have to use my own screw set, although that is always handy to have. Now why am I doing this uh, with a KO? Because uh, the KO I handle a lot more than the original. I just want the original to look nice on display. Uh, it did cost a lot of money, so I don't want to mess around with it too much. And the knockoffs, I'm not too afraid to mess with them because they do cost a lot less. Okay, so just pull a little tray out of here and everything's nicely laid out as you see. And the back here shows you the installation instructions. Very easy, just a two screw affair and adding the hand and that's it. So. We'll go ahead and do that. We're going to grab this arm first, right, and just pop off his gun, and you'll see the screws right there. So grab the little screwdriver that comes with it, and hold your fingers right over the, the four screws if you haven't done so already. Pop off the screwdriver, that way you don't use, lose the other screws. Actually, this isn't working too much, so we'll pop it out with the little exacto knife. It'll work. And then just simply unscrew the screws and the screwdriver is the exact size for this this is perfect because I can save the screwdriver for other projects all right and there's no wiggle on the screwdriver so which is awesome that way you're not going to really strip stuff out but if you do it does come with extra screws all right so now we've got that taken care of we are going to pop off the two halves as you can see they come off rather easily I'm just going to leave that half on it doesn't really want to come off and here is the original hand, right? which is nicely done. The original hand is not too bad. It does look like the fingers uh, would articulate separately, but they unfortunately do not. Uh, even the index finger is part of the other three. Uh, and the thumb does not even move. So that's the standard hand. And what we're going to do is compare it to the articulated hand. All right? And you can see it, the articulated hand is a tad bigger. All right? Uh, but look, it has articulation. So you get the thumbs. The thumb is on a teeny tiny ball joint. But uh, there's three segments on the, um, what do you call it, the thumb there, which is awesome. Same thing with all the other fingers. And the, the fingers are also on ball joints. This is sort of like the, the um, what do you call it, the um, KFC hand that I did for the um, MP10. This is pretty much like it. Uh, it does have the same kind of design with the little four ball joints there and then the cap on the top to hold the ball joints in uh, and, and you'll see the fingers and I'll put a, a little bit of force on them they're not popping off things aren't flipping out so they're very well done the molding is excellent and what we'll do is go ahead and see if it fits on the KO uh, I had to modify and this is the first time for me doing it so I don't know what's gonna happen I had to modify the MP10 to fit the uh, KFC hands, but we'll see what goes on with that. So far, so good. It does lay in there perfect. And let's see, do I have this right? Yeah. And lay the other half. And it doesn't look like the. Oh, actually, never mind. It does fit. No modification needed, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the screws back in and see it, make sure everything uh, works properly. All right, we'll go ahead and finish screwing in the second one. And he's already given me the finger. My lord. And before I piss him off completely, we'll go ahead and attach the other hand to the other arm. It's the exact same process. Attach the new hand, the other half. Put the screws back in. All right, once you got both sides screwed in. Oh, he's giving me the finger again. Ha <laughs> ha, smoke screen, you're so silly. So as you can see, the hands are a lot of fun. I'm already having fun. I just installed them. I'm already doing dirty things with them. But the articulation is just so amazing. This is really cool. I mean, if I had articulated fingers on my fingers as a kid, uh, you know, I probably would have been a different person today. But 
look at this. This is amazing. All you youngins are so lucky. All your toys are going to be so awesome from now on. But uh, I guess I'm still able to have fun. And speaking of fun, let's see what you can do. He can go ahead and cover his man boobs. He can point at his crotch, point at his butt, wave at all the girls passing by, and who knows what else. So uh, I guess what's important is to see if the weapon fits. Tab that right in the hole there. Close his fingers around. As you can see, it does fit. I'm sorry I'm blocking everything. Uh, I know this is the KO, but these uh, hands were designed for the original, so you should have no problem whatsoever getting those on that one. I'm just glad they, they fit on this, since I did have to modify my uh, KO MP10. But, guys, this is an amazing set. Uh, I do highly recommend it. If you like the figure, make sure you stop uh, over at tfdirect.com, guys, and uh, pick one up there. And buy a couple of things and use the code RPA5 to get $5 off, guys. And I'm going to go because there's a fly running around here trying to get in my ear. And, uh, yeah, questions or comments, guys, leave them below. And until next time, bye-bye.